It's the first formal acknowledgement that four American citizens died in drone strikes. Now, as you say, one of those was an intended target, Anwar al Olaki, the radical cleric. Now, at the time in 2011, when the attack happened in Yemen, uh, U.S. officials did say that he had died, but it wasn't reported how um, he died. And now we know that was as a consequence of a drone strike. Now, in that letter, the justification for that was set out. Now, um, Eric Holder said it was because he posed an imminent threat of violent attack against the United States because his capture was not feasible and the operation would be conducted in a manner consistent and applicable law of war principles. So that was a justification. Now, the other three were not intended targets, but the other three uh, people, the other three American citizens, died as a consequence also of drone strikes. One of those, Anwar al Orlaki's son. Uh, and, Rajini, apparently in the President's address on Thursday, we're going to hear why these attacks are, and I quote, necessary, legal and just, but they are hugely controversial, aren't they, particularly in Pakistan? Yes, um, even here in Washington, where they've uh, been the subject and centre of many debates um, down on Capitol Hill. Uh, one of the biggest criticisms of the Obama administration is transparency. How um, are, what is the justification for these um, attacks to be uh, administered? Who makes these decisions and how? And many critics have said that the Obama administration simply haven't been transparent enough. Now, Eric Holder in his letter says the whole purpose of writing a letter like this is to prove how open and transparent the administration wants to be when it comes to this. And uh, we're hearing that in this speech on Thursday on counterterrorism, in which President Obama is expected to talk at length about drones, he will make the case for why they are necessary, legal and just. Other criticisms we've had from Amnesty International, uh, for example, in light of what we're hearing today, are questioning the legality also of drone attacks. They are very controversial, as you say. Um, it's likely that uh, the speech on Thursday will also cause some more uh, conversations here.